The Occupational Therapy Program opened its doors at Keuka College in 1988 to meet the needs of future OT professionals by focusing on developing excellence in clinical, evidence-based practice from medical to community environments. Occupational therapy services are provided for habilitation, rehabilitation, and the promotion of health and wellness to those who have developed or are at risk for developing an illness, injury, disease, disorder, condition, impairment, disability, activity limitation, or participation restriction. OT addresses the physical, cognitive, psychosocial, sensory, perceptual, and other aspects of performance in a variety of contexts and environments to support engagement in occupations that affect physical and mental health, well-being, and quality of life. Peter Talty came to Kiuka on a part-time basis in 1987 and assumed the chair's position in 1991 as a full-time professor. Prior to joining Kiuka, he owned and operated his own private OT practice, providing services in diverse settings. He also was on the faculty at the University of Buffalo, where he received the Outstanding Teacher Award for the School of Health-Related Professions in 1980. He also received Kiuka's Professor of the Year in 1991, Excellence in Teaching Award in 2001 and 2006, and OT Department Professor of the Year in 2006. After teaching over 2,000 OT students in three OT programs, Peter knows they are engaged and he knows what they want. Students want to be productive and they want meaningful and relevant assignments. They also want to be challenged, but not overwhelmed. The question Peter always anticipated in the students' minds is what does this have to do with OT? Here's what it does in a nutshell. I put this down here because I made this up. I put my name down here, see? <laughs> see? The ability to analyze the action, figure out what is going on anatomically and biomechanically, and to then create solutions are some of an occupational therapist's greatest assets in practice. Like I told you, on the days that I'm good, it's because I can do this. Over and over again throughout my career, it served me very well. So the time you spend learning applied anatomy shouldn't end at the end of this course. Always keep thinking about it. There is a nationwide shortage of occupational therapists. According to the Board of Labor Statistics data, employment in 2008 was 104,000. The projected employment needs for 2018 shows a 26% increase, or 131,000 occupational therapists. From day one to graduation, an OT education costs approximately $150,000, and there is little scholarship support for the graduate year. Peter has always felt that the profession of OT has not reached its peak in terms of new areas of practice. He believes that engaging people in occupations is the key to health and wellness. The Peter Talty Scholarship exemplifies his commitment to these principles. This new scholarship in Peter's name will be awarded only to graduate students who demonstrate a commitment to the concept that through occupation, people can achieve wellness and prevent multiple diseases and disabilities. This commitment can be demonstrated through their field periods, field work experiences, lifestyle, classroom work, or volunteer experience. I've always believed that the real power in occupational therapy is how we use time, how we use occupation. And I thought about coupling that, those occupations and how we utilize time with addictions. And looking at the way when people decide to make a change in their life and to move away from addictive behaviors, whether it's overeating, not exercising, um, whatever it might be, alcohol, drugs, whatever the case might be, once they take that out, they have this big void in their life. And I always thought that an occupational therapist can help them plan a, an effective way to fill the void. So what we're doing following that theme, we've created the Peter Talty Scholarship Foundation. And what it is is that we're going to be asking people to for make donations so we'll have enough money in it that we can give a scholarship out each year to a graduate student. The student would have a 3.2 average and the student would demonstrate a commitment to using occupation to promote wellness and health. It might come through field periods, it might come through a field work experience, classroom, laboratory, volunteer experience. Somewhere along the line, 
they will have demonstrated this commitment and they'd write a paper to this effect and we'll have a committee re determine who would get this scholarship. So we're asking people to make a donation in the, into the scholarship fund. We need to raise $15,000 within five years in order for the Peter Talty Scholarship to become viable. And this is where you can help. Your contribution can help Kiyuka to continue to produce high-performing OTs with a commitment to wellness and prevention. If you felt along the way that I've said something to you that's helped you make you a better occupational therapist, well, the way to show that appreciation is to make a contribution to our scholarship so we can support students coming behind you, so we can continue to promote and graduate the strong occupational therapists that we've been doing in the past. Thank you very much.